Uh, all right. So the next one here. There's a new U.S. stockpile in Australia to prepare for war over Taiwan. So the U.S. has created a new stockpile of military equipment during drills in Australia last summer to prepare for a future war with China over Taiwan. The stockpile was left behind after the Talisman Sabre exercises, which ran from July 22nd to August 4th last summer. And they were billed as the largest ever iteration of the drill, really showing you know, the U.S. focus on the region and the preparation for a future conflict in the Asia Pacific. Um, so Reuters reported that the U.S. left behind equipment, including 330 vehicles and trailers and 130 containers in a warehouse in Bandiana, a suburb, a suburb of Wandonga, which is a city in southeastern Australia. Uh, it's not clear what are in those containers in the warehouse, but they say the supplies are enough to supply three logistics companies that would be focused on getting equipment to U.S. troops who are fighting a war elsewhere in the region. Uh, General Charles Flynn, who's the top army commander in the Pacific, he said, quote, We're looking to do this more and more. There's a number of other countries in the region where we already have agreements to do that, end quote. So the U.S. is working to establish similar stockpiles in the Philippines, Japan, and other countries in the region, and Congress wants to establish a weapons stockpile in Taiwan itself, something that might not be publicized due to the, to the risk of provoking China, but that's something they're probably already working on that. Um, so uh, U.S. Army Secretary Christine Warmoth, she said last year that the Army's role in a future war with China would be to establish staging bases for the Navy, for the Marines, and for the Air Force, and to provide what she called intra-theater sustainment using the weapon stockpiles and watercraft. So saying that the Army would move stuff around the region. And she said uh, the Army would also have a role to play in the homeland since a full-blown war with the U.S. and between the U.S. and China would likely spread. She said, quote, if we got into a major war with China, the United States homeland would be at risk as well with both kinetic attacks and non-kinetic attacks, end quote. So this is what they're talking about and openly preparing for. U.S. military officials make it no secret that they're prepping for war with China. They're, they're, the, the way that they frame it is that, oh, we're trying to deter war. That's not what, that's the last thing we want. But if we have to fight a war, we have to be able to win it. And while what they call deterrence is actually provocation and it's just making war in the region more likely because, of course, China is reacting and things just continue to, you know, heat up. Australia is a f long way from Taiwan, but the U.S. has big plans for Australia um, with this submarine deal. The U.S. is going to be stationing long-range bombers there um, and things like that. 